Hey there, cats and kittens. My name is Alonda Carter, and I am the Recovering Hunbot. I create anti-MLM, that's anti-multi-level marketing videos, and on occasion, I dip my toes into true crime. But if you think about it, isn't multi-level marketing criminal? Today's video, we are into part four of the Women's Gifting Table Handbook. In the other videos I've made, we looked at the introduction, we've looked at what made uh, the gifting table safe and legal, the tax loophole, and now we're getting ready to look at ways to manifest your gift, you know, so that you can come up with that $5,000 so that you can give that to the person who's at the top of the table, which is the dessert. If you have not had an opportunity to watch any of the episodes, there's a docu-series called Murder on Middle Beach. And the person who was murdered was part of the gifting table. Her name is Barbara Hamburg. Her son, Madison, was a film student at the time of her death, which was March 3rd of 2010. And now he has created this docu-series where he is searching to try to uncover and understand what happened. And that's when he found out his mom was part of, some have called this a Ponzi scheme, others a pyramid scheme, some multi-level marketing. But in the end, it is a scheme and very few women actually made money and a lot of people lost money. If you have any information pertaining to who killed Barbara Hamburg, please contact the Madison Police Department at 203-245-2721. Or you can use the website that her son Madison created, which is barbarahamburgtips.com. And now let's get to the next section of the gifting table handbook. And at the end, I'll give you my thoughts on some of this. And honestly, it's um, a challenge to wrap my head around all of it as I'm reading it. One of the things that I can say, if you just heard some strange sounds, that was one of my dogs and their little flappy ears were going. So apologies for that, but I don't have a soundproof room that I'm in. Anyway, it's really a challenge to wrap my head around this stuff because as I read it, I see so much that connects to the new thought movement, which is the, the law of attraction is part of that. And kind of new agey type stuff as I'm reading it. And it, it just makes me uncomfortable, a little bit sad because I know a lot of these same things are still being put out there for people who join MLMs, people who are being coaches, coaches like, you know, for business, social media and that whatnot and all that woo stuff. They're all, you know, like thoroughly believing in this pseudoscience type stuff. Anyway, Let's get to that um, handbook. Ways to Manifest Your Gift, couplets published by W.H. Murray from the Scottish Himalayan expedition that climbed Mount Everest. Until one is committed, there is hesitance, the chance to draw back, always ineffectiveness. Concerning all acts of initiative and creation, there is one elementary truth, the ignorance of which kills countless ideas and splendid plans, that the most one definitely commits oneself. Then providence moves too. All sorts of things occur to help one that would never otherwise have occurred. A whole stream of events issues from the decision raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents, meetings, and material assistance, which no man could have dreamed. A whole stream of events issues from the decision raising in one's favor all manner of unforeseen incidents, meetings, and material assistance, which no man has ever dreamed would have come his way. Whatever you can do or dream you can begin it. Boldness had genius, power, and magic in it. Begin it now. It has been demonstrated over and over again, 
at the table that if you come from a place of commitment, have clear intentions and take action, absolutely anything is possible, often faster than we can imagine. Let's get started. Remember, no idea is too crazy. One method alone does not have to generate the full $5,000. You may use two, three, or four ideas to generate a couple of thousand each. One, have a garage sale. Go through your house and garage and find anything you haven't used in the last year and turn it into cash. You may also have old jewelry, china, art, crystal, or heirlooms that you no longer feel attached to that you can sell for cash. Sell a used car, truck, van, motorhome, boat. Remember, in a relatively short period of time, it can be replaced with a new one. Ask your parents or relatives for an advance on your inheritance. It actually is a wise thing to do as it avoids future probate taxes. Apply for a credit card. You can go online to lowcards.com for a list of the top 10 cards. You can apply right online. Once you have your new card, you can take a cash advance, or in some cases, you have the ability to write checks against the card. American Express is the most generous in terms of sending you checks that can be turned into cash. Credit problems? There are many companies that specialize in giving cards to people who are credit challenged. Two known sites are Provident.com and CapitalOne.com. Once you open the account, you can either take a cash advance or write checks against the card. You will obviously pay interest, but the rewards will easily offset your interest payments. Five, apply for a home improvement loan using your house as collateral. Six, ask people who owe you money to pay up. Okay, that was page 12 and I'm missing page 13. So I don't know if there's more pointers on how you can manifest your cash. But overall, as I'm reading that, I became really, really uncomfortable. Can you imagine suggesting someone get a credit card so that they can manifest this money? or to take out a second mortgage. I mean, really part of the handbook are the table guidelines. So let's get into that. Table guidelines, congratulations on becoming part of a very dynamic group of ladies. You are special and know that not all ladies are invited to join our table. We are extremely discreet. We remain quiet and true to our work unnoticed and ignore all discord and fear in the world while we move ahead silently and with determination. Introduction. Some women may say that they are too busy to give the table the time and attention we all commit to when we become part of the table. The women who participate are fully committed to their own success as well to the success of others as we make time for the things that are important in our lives eating, sleeping, personal health, our families and loved ones. The women who participate feel that their goals are just as important and necessary to make time for. The efforts placed will help each lady who gives the time and attention to reach her goals. Perhaps you need to get out of a bad relationship. Prepare for your old age. Make repairs on your house. Stop working 18 hours a day. A vacation or give yourself personal attention. All of these things and more can be achieved with your focus and with the support of other women you will journey with. You may be wondering, how long does it take to reach dessert? Your answer is, as fast as all the women meet their commitment to the table by inviting. Action is the key word. Pointers. You can fulfill your agreement of inviting two women but you are not limited to the number of ladies you may invite to journey with you. Full and active participation are the characteristics of a strong sister. 
the women who tend to get more than one woman to join and who participate and are active themselves will be found by other strong participants and invited to come to additional tables. Two, ask yourself at the end of the day, what have I done to contribute? Some women find it helpful to organize their activities with a notebook, three ring binder, file system, or computer. Track what activities you did daily. Note who you contacted. Three ways with dessert, that's three-way calls, conference calls, emails, calls and help to new appetizers and contacts with the women to bond and support. Write down everyone's phone number that you talk to. Keeping notes on call topics may not only serve as ongoing training for yourself, but also as valuable information during your time as dessert. If you find yourself getting discouraged, Go to dessert for inspiration. It is inappropriate to take your discouragement or fears to the calls without first consulting with your dessert or one of the entrees. The women's wisdom table is with no fear. Be sure you have all your questions answered and are ready to participate and be committed. Always see yourself in dessert all the way along the path. Know that a better life for you and your friends and family is being built with each minute you spend working. Doing these things will make your journey faster and more enjoyable. Wow, you gotta be committed. You gotta see it. Oh, gotta let go of all of that fear. Any naysayer. This totally could be multi-level marketing. It's the same stuff that we hear from people who are in multi-level marketing. It's the same stuff that I heard when I was a Beachbody coach. It's what we hear from all of these, you know, MLM coaches like Eric Worre and Fraser Brooks and Ray Higdon and, and the like. It's the same thing. It hasn't changed. What has changed is how it's being utilized. In this case, it's for this table where there are four levels. But at the same time, as I was reading this, when it's saying to note all of your daily activities, that took me instantly back to being a Beachbody coach and having to track everything I did on the success tracker, make sure that you note everything. It's such busy work. And that busy work really it prevents you from seeing what's happening. And if you're a woman who has taken out a second mortgage or has sold their car because they're looking to be able to get this $40,000 from this gifting table, this is a good way so that you, you can keep thinking like, I just have to work harder. I've got to find the right women. You know, the women who are committed, the women who see the vision. Let me know what are your thoughts and opinions about part four to the women's gifting table handbook. Let me know below in the comments and remember you're beautiful and I love you. Mm -hmm.